Hey, okay, Marsha Grace here, take two. <laughs> um, it's Friday, and I am here to, uh, as I always am. Uh, and today I wanna ask you a question. Uh, can you imagine being in your home and all of a sudden you hear you, you hear a, a siren or a horn outside and you, you li you're listening and it's a police car going around telling people to get out of their homes right away? Can you imagine that? Because, because there's a danger of a flood or, or a fire coming? What would it feel like? I mean, I, can you even imagine what it would feel like to, to have to grab your, your, you know, your most important possessions and your cat or your dog and zip out the house and jump in the car and take off and leave everything else behind? Especially when you're in that, that state of, of, you know, terror, you know, what's happening, what's happening? And are you making good decisions about what to do? So these are the kind of things um, that came to me this morning because uh, the weather patterns are so crazy now. And um, I, I woke up to a thunderstorm this morning. It was, you know, really raining hard. And, um, uh, and I thought of a friend of mine who bought property upstate and that's where they're having all of those major uh, floods. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness, I hope, I hope she's, you know, her property's okay. So, um, you know, because who knows? I mean, she had a flood, I think it was last week when, when the rains came and uh, flooded right across her property. She had a picture of it uh, uh, on, here on Facebook. And um, it was like, wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. And so I don't know, but um, crazy things are happening. And... Um, uh, you know, people are getting extremely stressed by these unusual uh, weather patterns. So, and and need and rightfully so, it would seem, because you know, there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, we we're helpless against nature, right? I mean, you you can't stop nature from doing whatever it's going to do. <clears throat> so, what do you feel when you have that that hollow? Pit in the you know in the pit of your stomach that kind of creeps up right into your throat and you want to you know uh, it's it's really really awful and that's what I felt this morning when uh, when I woke up and I heard the storm <clears throat> uh, because of course in miracles my spiritual discipline says the ego always speaks first meaning that part of us our our um, uh, what do you want to call it. Uh, uh, the, the part of us that's uh, protective, that, uh, that, that is very bodily oriented and is always concerned about taking care of the body and making sure it's safe. Uh, whether it's go good advice or bad advice, you know, whatever it is, it, what it thinks is good advice uh, to, to take care of you. And, um, and that's the part that usually speaks first. Uh, unless you're, you know, an enlightened being, then you know, that would be the case. But uh, for most of us, that would be the first thing. But because um, I have years and years of uh, meditative experience, um, uh, there are things that I do that, that help me right away. I mean, all of us have, there are many, many ways, and I've talked about it for years, many ways to handle our stress when things come up. And, um, uh, you know, and they're all, and, and some are good and some are bad, but uh, and that's fine. But what I would say is that you need to find your best way of handling stress for yourself because um, with that, I mean, you have to make a plan. You have to make a plan for these things because they're happening. And if we don't make a plan, we're going to be running around like chickens, you know, the proverbial chicken and, and not, uh, not making right decisions. So, um, uh, you know, it, it's the kind of thing that uh, you really need to recognize the importance of a plan. Just like you need a financial plan or you need a plan for what am I making for dinner tonight or you need a plan for everything that we do, right? We need to plan ahead to some extent so that we can be prepared in the face of an emergency. Because when you're in the middle of an emergency and you don't have a plan, anything could happen. Right. So uh, what do they say? Have, have a ladder 
have a ladder you know on the floor by your window so if there's a fire you can throw the ladder out the second story window and climb out for safety i mean this there's, there's so many things that people do uh to make sure that they um uh have have uh you know a plan in 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 um in mind to handle these situations as best we can right as best we can so that's what I want to say. I just want to say, make a plan, make a plan. Think about walk around your house. Think about how would you uh, get out of your house if there were a fire? Um, what things would you take? You know, if people have a go bag in the car, what they call a go bag, and in it you have essentials, you know, so that if you do have to leave in a hurry, at least you have the most important things, your your prescription, your, I don't know, um, the food, or what, depending on the situation, whatever it is you need, water certainly, um, so that you can, you know, get going fast and, and have, have some supplies with you. Uh, so there's lots of things to do to consider that. And... Uh, I don't. I, I don't like being an alarmist. I'm not. An, I'm the last person in the world that's an alarmist. But uh, but I also am sensible. You know, I believe we do need to take precautions, uh, especially with the th way things are happening these days. So uh, there are many ways uh, for you to find your calm center in the midst of some shocking experience. Uh, and and uh, I please, I beg of you, please research figure out for yourself what works what works for you so that you can go into a situation with as much uh, of your of your calm within you as possible to make the right decisions and and survive you know of course and uh, so that's that's what i wanted to say today just because of this rainstorm this morning and and the rain the rains and, and the fires and everything that we're hearing about it just thought i'd talk about it uh, a little bit so please make a plan and uh, for me, uh, what I do is my morning meditation. That's what works for me. I, um, you know, I wake up in the morning and very often there's a scary thought just like there was today. And so I can handle it because I know, okay, there's a scary thought. Do I want to stay with that? Is that something I want to, you know, maybe, maybe it, it, it needs to be addressed. And, and of course, you don't want to ignore a problem. But uh, by the same token, um, you also don't want to uh, take that worry into your day and make it like the, the, the thing that covers everything. So I start with my morning meditation, my morning practice period. It's not, it's not, it's meditation plus, I'm going to say. And, um, and that's, of course, what I teach. And you know that if you're listening to me for any length of time, you know that. Um, but I also want to, uh, you know, offer you uh, in the midst of something that happens really suddenly and really upsets you, my quick fix for stress relief. And you can get that at my website, uh, which is uh, marciagrace.com, M-A-R-C-I-A-G-R-A-C-E.com slash quick fix. And um, that'll, that'll give you an inst a, a really quick way to handle an emergency situation so you can bring your uh, anxiety level down right away. Okay? All right, listen. Um, it looks like the sun is actually trying to come out now, which is, again, crazy weather. But here we are. I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. And um, so have a beautiful day and a beautiful weekend and a beautiful week ahead until next time. Many blessings. Bye-bye.